Hi everyone, this is Julie with Beta Holique, and today I want to show you how to do the Byzantine weave in chainmail. And this here is an example. This is a bracelet I did using the Byzantine weave. And you can see it's really pretty from all sides. It almost for forms a slightly squared off pattern. And you can see these rings that are going in opposite directions that form a really, really pretty pattern. So I want to show you how to do this. And I've picked up some artistic wire chainmail rings, and these are specifically for chainmail. And what helps is they actually show you on the top of the package the inner diameter and the gauge. And then if you were to turn over this package, it's going to give you a handy little chart for some of the more popular weaves like Dragon Scale, European 4-in-1, the Turkish Round. And it's going to show you what size ring gauge you need and also what inner diameter. If you're not fami familiar with terms like inner diameter and aspect ratio, I would say go ahead and uh, Google those terms. There's a lot of different information out there explaining the whole mathematics system of chainmail. But for this video, I really want to concentrate on the weave itself. So you're going to need a series of open rings and closed rings. The open ones are just open jump rings. Just open them the same way you would open any other jump ring. And for the purpose of this video, I want to use two colors, so hopefully you'll be able to see how this works a little bit better. I've also got a scrap piece of wire handy. This was a head pin from a project that did not work out. And I've got two pliers. And you want to use pliers that you're pretty comfortable with because it is a bit of hand work to do chain mail. So let's begin. For the Byzantine weave, it's really helpful if you think of it in terms of pairs of two. So I'm going to take two of my gold rings and again I'm just using two colors for the purpose of the video and I'm going to take an open silver ring and I'm going to put it through the two closed jump rings and then I'm just going to close it up and since we want to think in terms of pairs we need another open jump ring to repeat the exact same process as the other one and just go through those two closed rings and then close it back up. So now we have two sets of two. So I want to add a third set. So I'm going to take a open jump ring and I'm going to go through the two jump rings I just attached and close it. You want to try to close your rings as carefully as possible just so that you don't nick the finish. Also you want them to be lined up and closed. It'll help if when you're going a little further on on this weave if you, everything is neat and tidy. So then that this one here needs a pair so I'm going to repeat the same process again going through those two rings I just attached so now we have got if we fold this we have got three sets of two so we've got two, two, and two. So now is the first time we really need to go ahead and start to do the weave. So what I want you to do is I want you to fold down the last two that you just attached so they almost form a V going in the downward direction. I'm going to take an open jump ring and this is probably going to be the hardest part of the entire process just the, getting this first one on. So be patient you might have to redo it a couple times. So we're going to try to go between the two rings that were the middle section and then we want to latch on to one of the folded down rings and latch on to the second folded down ring and like I said this can be a bit tricky to begin with. Just do whatever you need to do to get this first one on there. There we go. So we split the top, the middle, what were the middle two, and then the folded down ones we latched on to their top parts. So now we're going to close this back up. And we're going to repeat the same process because we're thinking in terms of pairs. So this one needs a match, and it's a little, it's going to be much easier actually to just latch that one on. Okay, remember how I said you needed a scrap piece of wire? I want you to flip your chain mail over. So I was holding it like this. This was the direction I was going from. 
I'm going to flip it over and I'm basically just going to mark where my end is because if I was to drop this right now, I would have no clue which end I was working from. All right, so let's go back to where we were working. So it's not looking like a lot right now. It's a little hard to see what's happening, but we're starting to form a little bit of a pattern. So what we need to do now is we need to recreate what we started with when we had those three sets of two. The easiest way to do that is to take an open jump ring, latch onto it two already closed jump rings, and then latch those onto the top two that you just placed. So now close that up. And now it needs a pair, so we're going to take another open jump ring and go through all four of those rings and close it up. So this is what we've got so far. So now we're going to repeat that next step where we took the two top rings and we folded them down so they'd be in a V shape pointing downwards. And then we're going to take an open jump ring and we're going to split the two that are at top so we can go between them and we're going to try to latch on the top part of these two rings that are facing downward in a V shape. This can be tricky. It does go a lot faster the more you do it. There we go. We're going to close that one up and we're going to attach its matching pair. And as I was doing that, I noticed I didn't quite get this one closed all the way. All right, you can see how it's starting to build a really pretty pattern. So now we're going to take an open jump ring. Okay, we want to link onto it two closed jump rings. And then we want to link that through the tops of the two rings we just attached. So now you've got four on there. Now we're just going to close that up. And then repeat. We want to just make sure it has a matching pair because it's always working in twos. all the way through all four and close it up and let's look at what we've got so far. So you can see how it's building. I'm going to do a little bit more here so that you can see the process and then you'll just keep doing it for whatever length you want if you're making a necklace or a bracelet. So we've got the three sets of two, so two, two, and two. So now we're back to the point where we have to fold the top two down to form a V. We're going to take an open jump ring, or we're going to attempt to take an open jump ring. And we want to go through, we want to split those top ones. And we want to latch on to the top of the two rings which are folded down in the V shape. A second one. Here's how it's looking. We're going to add two more sets of two so that we have those three sets of two. So we're going to take an open jump ring, link onto it two closed jump rings, link that the two that you just attached, so you have four on there. Close it on up. Take another open one. Link it through all four again. And close it. 
then one more time with that folding down to form a V shape so that you can see that process one more time. So we're going to fold that down so it forms a V. Take an open jump ring. So you're going to split that top one. You want to go between it and you want to latch on to the top of those two that are folded down and close it. Add its matching pair. And close that one as well. There we go. All right, so you can really see the pattern taking hold now. And it's really pretty from all different directions. And you'll just keep doing that. Then the more you go, like I said, it'll get a little bit easier. It'll go a little bit faster. You'll figure out what angle works best for you to try to link that those jump rings together. And then eventually you will end up with something like this, which is a really pretty piece of jewelry. And like I said, you can make it into a necklace, you can make it into a bracelet, even earrings, whatever you wanna do. It's quite nice, it's very, very flexible. And it's all done just by interlocking jump rings by using the Byzantine chainmail weave.